Hey guys, welcome back. So today I brought home another generator. This one is a Power Boss and basically just a rebranded Briggs, you know, storm re responder type generator. Uh, this one starts, sounds great, makes power. Can't find anything wrong with it, really. It does what it's supposed to do. I think all it needs is probably just an oil change and maybe an air filter. But there is something pretty interesting or different about this one. And I thought I'd spend a little time uh, testing it to see if it's really worth the effort to do something like this. And as you can see, someone put a car exhaust system on here. And they attached it directly to the OEM system. So it's kind of going through two mufflers. So it'd be twice as quiet, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. So I do want to measure how loud this is. So I'm going to get a decibel meter and we'll do a quick test the way it is now. I'll put it back to how it should be and we'll do another test just to see, you know, what kind of a difference we're talking about. Okay, so I've got this decibel meter app running over here and I'm about 25 feet away from that generator. So I'm just going to start it up and see what we get. And one thing to note, this exhaust does have a hole in it. So the reading's gonna be probably a little high because I do hear a lot of noise coming out of there. I am gonna block it off with some wood just to get the exhaust to flow through as much as possible through that car muffler. Okay, that was pretty loud. I guess the big question is, is it quieter than the stock exhaust? So let's get that car muffler cut off and we will try it again. Okay, so before I begin making sparks cutting off that muffler, I do want to get the fuel tank off. I have already uh, disconnected the fuel line and just got to remove the four bolts going around. Should lift right out. The only thing I'm not sure about is you know, will this handle obstruct it coming out? So let's remove those bolts and see how it goes. Okay, so this side I can just unscrew and this whole assembly will come off. Uh, I've already bent out these tabs, which keep the bolts from spinning out. So that one's actually loose. Anyway, this side's not gonna be an issue. Uh, over here, it's tack welded. So I'm gonna cut those off and that should allow this side to come right out. Now I am gonna tie probably a rope or something just from here to here to help support it once I cut those tacks off so that I don't end up damaging something over here with the exhaust bolts up to the engine. I decided to reverse my plan here. I've got this tied up over here. I'm gonna take those bolts out that go to the engine and just kind of let this dangle a bit and then attack those welds on the other side. So I'm just going to use a Dremel cutting wheel. Obviously, I could use something bigger and do this quicker, but I think I'll probably end up cutting too much of the frame, so I'll have a little more control with this. At least that's the theory. All right, I'm going 
going big. Like it never happened. So the new muffler came in. It actually looks a little bit worse than the old one. Well, if the old one didn't have a car exhaust on it. But since it doesn't, I'd say it looks quite a bit better. So I'm just going to bolt that up and reinstall the fuel tank. So that looks a lot better. Looks like a normal generator now. A lot of these Briggs and Stratton setups have a, a standard muffler like this. And I have one of these just hanging around on a shelf, but the big consideration here is that you need a heat shield. Because this muffler is so low, it can radiate heat uh, into the stator back there. So uh, this has no heat shield. And because the muffler is so high, you don't need one. The only heat shield you need is to protect the fuel tank because it's plastic. But there's not going to be any heat radiating to that stator from the exhaust. Now, one thing I don't think was considered uh, when someone installed this is that that tailpipe there was exiting kind of over here. And the stator has a fan in it. It sucks cool air in on that end and exhausts it right here. So potentially some of that hot exhaust air was circulating through the stator and may have shortened the life of that stator. So if you're considering doing something like that, keep that in mind. You don't want hot air going into that stator. So I got the meter set up again, and I'm gonna start the generator to see how much louder it is with the stock exhaust. And I do expect it to be louder. I guess the question is, how much louder? Okay, so that was pretty conclusive. The car muffler was quieter. That came in at 70 decibels, and this one was at 75 decibels. So 
you know, I knew this would be louder. I just didn't know how much louder. And to be honest, both were pretty loud, but you could tell this one definitely packed a bigger punch. Anyway, is it worth doing? Would I do it? Probably not. But if you're wondering if it'll work, yes, but just don't have unrealistic expectations as far as what it's going to do. It's going to be loud either way. Anyway, I hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching.